So my dream card was hit, and I'll never get it. What's up everyone? I hope you're all having a great day. So this video is about my dream card being pulled. Yes, it was officially pulled, and at the moment, this is the one that got away. The elusive card that everyone wishes they had in their collection, but you just know you will never get it. For all of you who know me and watch my videos, you know I'm a Noah Syndergaard super collector, and you know one type of card that I want more than anything is a Logo Man card. I think the Logo Man patches are by far the coolest patch there is. Even though I can go out and buy a jersey, cut up the logo man on it, and essentially have the same thing, but on a baseball card with actual game-worn memorabilia, it's awesome. So the other day I was doing some work, and my phone starts blowing up. 14 tags on Instagram, 5 DMs, 3 Facebook messages, my phone is just going berserk. And what do you know, my dream card was pulled by an Instagram user that goes by the name of the Freaky Franchise 55 this guy has an absolutely absurd card collection and is a super collector himself of Tim Lincecum. Now before I continue the story, I wanted to quickly say do not go to this guy's page and flame him or be rude to him, that's not what I'm about or anyone else should be about. I'm just personally upset because I wasn't able to get this card and he did some things that I wouldn't have done as someone in this hobby, but by no means does that mean to go and be disrespectful towards him on my behalf. I actually recommend that you follow him if you enjoy high-end cards and insane collections. Now anyways, my phone blew up and I was tagged in a card that he pulled, which happens to be a Noah Syndergaard 1 of 1 Logo Man card from 2016 Topps Dynasty. Not only was it that, but if you follow my Instagram page, you know I collect a certain photo variation of Syndergaard from 2016 Topps Dynasty, and it was the same photo variation that I needed to complete the rainbow for that set. Also on top of that, it wasn't a regular Logo Man, it was a Logo Man from his Memorial Day game jersey, which had stars and stripes on it, it was just a nasty card. I actually would have preferred it to be a regular Logo Man, because then maybe I would have gotten it, and I actually really love the look of the regular red, white, and blue Logo Man, but in general it was just a perfect card, and easily my dream card. Also, that wasn't the only nasty card he pulled. He broke open a full case of 2016 Dynasty, pulled a Corey Seager Redemption, the Cinder Guard, and a lot of other nice cards. Anyways, I immediately DM'd him and said, Hey man, I absolutely need to have that card. I'm a Cinderguard Super Collector. That's the last card that I need to finish a rainbow. And a logo man of his would be my dream to own. He messaged me back and said, I don't know if I want to sell it. I have no idea what it's worth. And I told him what the others went for that it sold. Then I offered my first offer to him of $500, which is what one of the others had sold for. He said I can't let it go for $500, in reply to which I offered him $600. He then said I don't know if I want to sell it unless I'm completely blown away by an offer, but I'm sentimental with it because I pulled it myself, which is understandable if you're going to keep the card in your collection forever. Then I offered him $750, which at that point I was like, why am I spending this much on a card? This is ridiculous. But I still offered it and he said, no thanks man, I'll let you know first if I'm going to sell the card or not, but I'm probably going to hold on to it until the start of the season and sell it during then if I'm going to sell it at all. I tried sweetening the pot at the end by offering $750 and about $250 worth of cards, but he still declined and it seemed at that point he was holding on to the card for good. Of course I was upset, but I understood it to a degree, but then about 5 days later, he posted it up on eBay for $2,500 which completely baffled me because he said he wasn't going to sell it, that he'd let me know if he was going to, that it's sentimental to him, and that he'd hold on to it until the season started. Well, it seemed like none of that was true, so I was very unhappy, especially because out of all of the people, I would expect this guy, as a fellow super collector of someone, to understand how badly I wanted that card, and to show some empathy, but nope. So I sent him a best offer of $800, then messaged him and said I'd do $850 plus the $250 lot of cards I offered originally, and he declined, and at that point, I knew I was never going to get the card. He ended up selling it for $1,300, but before he sold it, since I know him on Facebook through a group, I saw he wrote in the group asking if he should sell it for $1,300, as if he could get more, in which there were about 50 comments saying sell the card, that's a ridiculous offer, don't be greedy, so I watched it go before my very eyes. However, despite not getting my dream card, I learned a few valuable lessons. The first one is that you can't get every card out there. I make good money and I spend way too much money on cards as it is. For the most part, I have every card that I want and I'm very fortunate to have what I do. I just couldn't bring myself to spending over $1,000 for a card, or any card for that matter, 
and I didn't even want to pay the ridiculous $850 offer that I made. Another lesson that I learned was that there are some people in this hobby that really don't care about your collection. They just want to maximize profits. You should never feed into those people. Don't pay over something you're comfortable with just because someone is being greedy. Just chalk it up to a loss and take that loss like a man. There are other cards out there. But that's all for this story. I just wanted to share this experience that I went through with all of you and maybe bestow some knowledge about what I learned. I'm constantly learning in this hobby and that's always a good thing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe for more content, and also you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Regicidal and on my card Instagram at Cardicidal, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later everyone!